Erosion is a natural process that can have damaging effects on landscapes, particularly roadsides. Gradually, soil, rocks and other surface materials are worn away by natural elements such as wind, rain and temperature fluctuations. On roadsides, erosion can lead to hazardous conditions causing damage to infrastructure and posing safety risks to traffic and pedestrians. One effective method of controlling erosion is through strategic vegetation planting. Certain types of plants, especially some varieties of lamandra, are particularly beneficial in this regard. This perennial plant is known for its hardiness and its adaptability, as well as its vigorous root system, making it a perfect choice for controlling erosion on roadsides. Want to strengthen the soil up to 366%? Catrinus Deluxe Lamandra Longifolia has proven this ability in a 2007 study. So what is a lamandra? Lamandras are a robust, evergreen plant native to Australia. They have a tufted growth habit with long, arching leaves that form dense clumps attached to rhizomes. The plant produces small, fragrant flowers in spring and summer, which appear on spikes that rise above the foliage. There are a number of notable species within the Lamandra genus with native habitats spanning wide ranges of climates and soil types, from coastal dunes to inland arid regions. This adaptability makes it a versatile plant suitable for a variety of landscaping applications, including roadside planting. So why are Lamandras perfect for erosion control? Well, their roots penetrate wide and deep into the soil, binding it together and helping to prevent erosion caused by wind and water runoff. The plant's dense foliage also offers protection to the soil surface, because when raindrops hit the leaves, the impact is absorbed and dispersed, reducing the force with which the water hits the soil and thereby limiting its erosive power. Mandras are also exceptionally resilient to harsh conditions and can often be found on roadsides anyway. They can tolerate high levels of pollution, mineral-rich spray from passing vehicles, and extreme weather variations. On top of this, their hardiness and low maintenance requirements make them a natural choice for a long roadsides for erosion control. Weed potentiality of lamandras. Natural lamandra species have vigorous seeds that are known to germinate where they're unwanted. This can cause competition for the local ecosystem, particularly when you're planting varieties that are native to other parts of Australia. Remember, Australia is a massive country, and just because a plant is an Australian native, doesn't mean the genetics have originated from your specific locality. That's why choosing cultivars with less vigorous seeds is a good idea, such as lamandras that we've bred here at Osbury. They're far less likely to set seed where they're unwanted, while still providing all of the erosion control that you need. If you're looking for a smaller, compact lamandra for your roadside erosion control that won't obstruct vision, Evergreen Baby Lamandra Labille is just 40 to 45 centimetres high by 45 centimetres wide. Preparing the site for planting. Before planting lamandra on roadsides, it's important to assess the area for factors like sunlight exposure, soil type, and drainage. As I said, lamandras are a hardy plant that can tolerate a wide range of conditions generally, but they tend to thrive best in full sun to partial sunlight and well-drained soil. Roadsides are often characterised by poor soil structure and it can be expensive to amend that. Many lamandra species will thrive in these conditions much better than other plant types. To prepare for planting, remove any existing vegetation and debris from the area, including grass, weeds, rocks and other obstructions. Break up compacted soil using a garden fork or a mechanical tiller, or even gypsum if you can afford it in your project budget. This improves aeration and allows lamandra roots to penetrate deeper into the soil. If you've got the budget for it and you find it necessary, you can enrich the soil by adding organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure. This isn't always practical in a revegetation setting and it's a nice to have rather than a mandatory. Make sure that you're choosing the right plant for the right place. A range of natural species have adapted various environmental conditions across the country and they can all be used for roadside erosion control including Lamandra longifolia which is renowned for its robustness and resilience. It can reach heights of up to one metre and thrives in a variety of environments from dry eucalyptus forests to damp areas near streams. While it can tolerate periodic wet feet it can struggle in overly saturated waterlogged soils especially if these conditions persist over an extended period. More compact than Lamandra longifolia, Lamandra confertifolia typically grows up to 70 centimetres tall. This species is comfortable in well-drained soils but can also tolerate seasonally waterlogged conditions. 
However, like Lamandra longifolia, it may not fare as well in persistently waterlogged conditions. Are you looking for a Lamandra that can tolerate moderately heavy shade? Pacific Sky Lamandra Confertifolia is perfect. Lamandra Hystrix. The largest of the three Lamandra species that we've talked about so far, Lamandra Hystrix can grow up to one and a half meters tall. It features bright, green, glossy leaves that are longer and broader compared to the other two species. Cream-coloured and highly fragrant flowers adorn this plant in spring and summer. Lamander hystrix is commonly found in consistently wet habitats such as along creek banks or in moist, open forests. This makes it an excellent choice for areas with high rainfall or near water bodies. However, its preference for moisture means that it might struggle in hydrophobic or extremely dry soils. Wet feet? No worries. Katie Bell's Lamandra Hystrix strengthens the soil up to 285% according to a 2007 study. Breeders like us at Ausbreed have leveraged the potential of these natural species to produce new cultivars through selective breeding. By identifying Lamandras with desirable traits, be it drought tolerance, disease resistance or improved aesthetics, we breed them over several generations to enhance these characteristics. The outcome is superior plants that embody the best qualities of their parent species, tailored for modern roadside erosion control needs. As I said earlier, these cultivars are often less invasive than natural species because their seeds are less virile, meaning that you can use them without fear of negatively affecting the local ecosystem. The planting process. To plant Lamandra effectively for erosion control, follow these steps. Dig a hole that's twice as wide and just as deep as your root ball. If you've got heavy clay, avoid glazing the sides of the hole by breaking apart the sides so that they have jagged edges. Place the Lamandra in the hole, ensuring that the top of the root ball is level with the soil surface or the mulch. Backfill around the plant with soil, firming it gently with your hands to remove any air pockets. Space plants around 20 centimeters to a meter apart, depending on the variety that you're using. Avoid planting during a particularly hot day or a heat wave. After planting, water the lamandras thoroughly and, if the budget allows, apply a layer of mulch around the plant to conserve moisture and suppress weed growth. Once established, your lamandras should be able to cope with the natural rainfall available as long as you've chosen the right variety for the location and your soil quality is half decent. Just because you're planting for erosion control doesn't mean that you can't use something a little bit special. Install Great White Lamandra Longifolia as a traffic calming device that will have drivers slowing down to admire its beautiful variegated foliage. Maintaining Lamandra on roadsides. Despite its low maintenance nature, Lamandra does require some basic care to thrive. Occasional watering during dry periods can help the plant maintain its vigour, especially in the first year after planting when it's still establishing its root system. Visual inspections will help you to identify if the plants aren't receiving enough water during a drought or when the soil becomes hydrophobic or compacted. In a roadside erosion control context, it's unlikely that you'll be fertilising or pruning your plants, but if they do start to encroach over the road, you can certainly hedge prune the foliage back, but you'll have to continuously do this during the growing season. A better approach may be to remove a few layers of rhizome with a shovel or a mattock. Do this once every few years as the clusters grow. This can be known as division. The divided rhizomes can often be replanted, but plants under plant breeders rights can't be grown for sale. You're only allowed to grow them for personal usage. Dealing with pests and diseases. Lamandra is relatively resistant to pests and diseases, however it can occasionally be affected by leaf spot diseases which present as brown or black spots on the leaves. Root rot can also occur in poorly drained soils, and insect pests like mealybugs can take hold, particularly when the plant isn't thriving. Natural treatment options for these include improving soil conditions and spraying the foliage with white oil to knock insect pest populations back. For more severe cases, pesticides can be used according to the product's instructions. Before you reach straight for the chemicals though, consider using an integrated pest management approach with chemicals used as a last resort. Shara Lamandra fluviatilis. This is a real survivor that's been proven to adapt to both extreme drought and flooding. It's also very phytophthora resistant and strengthens the soil by 225% according to a 2007 study. Planting Lamandra on roadsides offers several benefits beyond simply preventing soil erosion. It contributes to biodiversity by providing habitat for small birds, reptiles, insects and other critters. This can enhance the local ecosystem. 
Aesthetically, Lamandra adds a lush green element to the roadside throughout the year. Its attractive foliage and flower spikes can significantly improve the visual appeal of roadsides. It can help create a healthier and more sustainable environment by filtering rainwater runoff and improving soil health. Whether you're a landscape architect or a home gardener, consider utilising one of the Lamandra cultivars that I mentioned into your roadside erosion planting. 